Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Howdy, viewers. Brad Kreider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Now, my third playthrough, I'm trying to get 100%, which means I have to do all the missions, main missions, that lead to ultimately Arthur contracting tuberculosis. Mary's letter is the actual trigger point. And after Arthur reads it, Herr Strauss talks to him about um, Thomas Downs. And ultimately, Arthur has to go and talk to Mr. Downs. But before Arthur does that, he can either go talk to Mary and find out what's going on, or, well, he can't ignore her at all. So... Mary is a big deal in Arthur's life. We loved once, and true is the mission we are going through. I'd actually done it before, but took it down because it didn't get too many views. So let's get on with this mission. Now, because Mary is such a big deal to Arthur, I decided once he hit Valentine, have him take a bath, get him all nice and clean and ready to talk to Mary and find out what's going on. And of course, get him a good night's sleep as well. So after Arthur gets his bath and gets his sleep, we have to go talk to Mary. Mary is staying at a farmhouse outside of Valentine and... Well, you got to talk to her, and then you have to make a decision. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Um. I heard you and your friends was around. Mm. I... Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help them? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. 
I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. As you find out, Arthur was in love with Mary, and he would have probably, well, been a husband to her, but her family didn't accept her, and Arthur's relationship, and he is an outlaw. Now, you have to go find Mary's brother, and... He's part of a cult called the Chelonians, and well, yeah, you can play it two ways. I played it the bad way, and, you know, I mean, it, the previous time I had posted this mission, I only got four, four views, so hopefully I'm trying for some more. Anyway, let's fast forward to where Arthur gets to the Chelonian place. During this ride, some guy randomly offered to race Arthur. I made sure to turn him down. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Move out of my way. Goddamn lunatic. That's enough, Arthur. Uh, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. Come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! You're never going to be able to catch up to Jamie or rope him, so just stay close, have the conversation you have with him, and then the major event happens where you have to deal with Jamie. I'm going to fast forward through because you're going to hear the conversation as you're riding and following him. Again, just stay close. Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I, I found something! 
I'm calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. We going in then? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you.
I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. And there you go. I watched the video I had posted previously. I did a hell of a lot better editing job on this because I have more experience. I also removed the video because it had only four views. I mean, I put stuff up because I want people to view it. If you did find this video informative and like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave comments. Watch it. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some random stuff. You want to stay informed and you want to watch them. As always, I'm Brad Pryder of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.